In honor of Black History Month, I wanted to share a recipe using the plantain banana. Let's trace its history and discuss how it's used in African and Caribbean cuisine. The origin of the plantain has been hard to pin, but studies have traced it back to Southeast Asia and the Pacific. Gradually, the plantain made its way through Africa, and by the 16th century, with the rise of colonialism, the plantain made its way into Brazil, the New World, and the Caribbean. The plantain was very purposeful during slavery. Because of its big towering leaves, it acted as shade for other crops that required indirect sunlight. Also, because of its easy digestibility and high energy source, it was fed to slaves to hold them down during their long hours of brutal manual labor in the cane fields. In this video, I will be making mofongo from Puerto Rico. However, the mofongo is a variation of fufu, a popular dish from many countries in West Africa. Fufu also influenced Dominican Republic's most popular dish, the mangu. Take a look at my easy vegan rendition of the mofongo. Enjoy! So we're going to be using jackfruit as our meat substitute, and we're going to shred it and take it apart. And now we're going to season our jackfruit. I'm using my very own homemade seasoning called sofrito. You can season it however you'd like. I will show you guys how to make sofrito in another video. So some salt, some pepper, We're going to be frying our plantains in grapeseed oil. Oh, I got a stain on my shirt. Okay. Grapeseed oil. We're being healthy. So we're going to fill up the pan. Quite a bit of oil on here because we're going to deep fry the plantains. We set the fire on the stove to medium. And once the oil is nice and hot, we're going to drop these babies in. And there goes my cat staring at me while I cook. I love her so much. You beautiful creature, you, your mommy's baby. I hope you know that. Oh, sorry, okay, bye. Anyways, you don't have to grab them one by one. You can drop them in a few more at a time. Make sure to flip them and we're gonna cook these so that they're crisp on the outside and dense on the inside. Meanwhile, in another pan, we're gonna drop a little grapeseed oil and we're going to cook our jackfruit. <laughs> And now we're going to add two tablespoons of tomato paste. This is going to thicken the sauce because we're going to braise the jackfruit. Typically in the mofongo dish, all the meats are braised. The tomato paste also gives it a beautiful color. We're going to add one cup of water. We're going to stir and we're going to let this simmer for a bit. In your mortar and pestle, what we like to call a pilon, you're going to take about five cloves of garlic, some salt, and some olive oil. You're going to eyeball this because you're going to adjust as you go along. You'll see what I'm talking about. And now we're going to throw in our plantains into this mix. Throw in as many as can fit in your mortar. And here is where we see the commonality between the fufu and the mofongo, the mashing together of starchy vegetables, and in this case, the plantain. Now we are making a soup-like broth, which is basically the sauce that accompanies the mofongo. You're going to bring one cup of water to a boil. You're going to add your sofrito. We're going to add some vegetable bouillon, or you can use chicken bouillon. Two tablespoons of tomato paste to thicken the sauce, and we're going to let this simmer for a bit. Add some salt and pepper for taste, and adjust to your liking. And 
there you have it, guys. Jackfruit mofongo made by yours truly. Let's give it a taste. <laughs> El más guapachoso, el que tiene los guasones nerviosos, guachicoqui, más que aunque me 